two, one, go live. Well, good morning, everyone. And uh, yes, it's Jimmy here again. It's the 26th of March, Thursday. Uh, yep, another update from me live in London. Um, in the house <laughs> so uh, what's happening everything and how's everybody actually uh, how's everyone I uh, hope you guys are all good and healthy uh, and not bored uh, this morning yes once again we did a little bit of exercises with Joe Wicks uh, online so we streamed it on the TV and uh, the kids and I and the family basically just there uh, stood in front of the TV and dancing around you know sweated out and so I just had a shower so nice and fresh so hopefully uh, we'll keep the energy and the momentum going for the rest of the day so what am I going to talk about today um, just a few things so I'm trying not to be as messy as the last few days and uh, I have to slowly structure myself now uh, so I'm starting to get used to all these live streaming things because uh, it's not as easy as you might think uh, when it comes to live uh, unlike a, a, a normal YouTube videos or any other videos that I've done before you can plan it you can do certain things and you can edit you know that's the thing you can you can edit all the, uh, the rubbish bit out and then just assemble it in a way that's more uh, uh, pleasing uh, to viewers eyes but when you do live it's gonna be very very difficult so good morning everyone uh, this is the live daily live stream for me so i'm going to do it uh, from monday to friday i think i'm going to leave the weekend off because uh, uh um i think even though we're in lockdown at the moment i do want to have some time for my family and uh, just to rest you know this is probably the not not the worst time actually you know and i know that i've been complaining about you know losing all my uh, bookings and jobs and everything like that and uh, but it may not be a bad time to actually rest and uh, uh yeah because i've been working flat out for the last few years trying to build up my business and everything good morning trevor and uh, so it is always very very difficult to uh uh, uh, to spend some time, you know, uh, either for myself and the family, so it's really, really difficult. So here I am, uh, Monday to Friday, I'm going to do daily stream, I'm going to continue doing work, uh, uh, I'm going to have a few videos that I have in mind, I want to make for a couple of products that I want to do, uh, then I will put them on the YouTube channel, uh, so you guys can continue to see some videos uh, uh, from us, you know, um, as, soon as, as simple as that, because I don't want to stop everything, you know, you can't really, uh, and then you'll get rusty afterward. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, today London is going to be quite important apparently and uh, because um, just some general news in London that uh, uh, I think the Chancellor from the UK government are going to announce something for the uh, self-employed uh, I'm not entirely sure how significant or how good it is in reality for all the self employees because he's already saying that it's quite challenging to find a package that would suit everybody uh, which I, I totally agree and uh, like I said you know I actually appreciate what he did for the employed and everything but you really don't know until it comes down to the actual uh, 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 people who are applying for that benefit. So uh, we'll, time will tell. So at the moment, I can't comment too much, but I'm looking forward to his announcement later this afternoon. So we, we shall see what's going on. And other than that, everybody seems to be nice and happy at the moment. I got phone call yesterday. We did a group uh, video chat uh, with a, a, a lot of my friends saying happy, singing happy birthday to, you know, he's a, a, a kid. Uh, so it's actually quite, quite fun to do that. Um, then we didn't do anything outside of the house. We would go back to the garden and just do something with the kids and you know just jumping around outside good morning david uh, so we, we we are self containing we are kind of isolating from everybody it is kind of weird you know like it, i keep mentioning it you know i don't know how how to express my kind of um uh, feeling of self isolations uh even though at for me, I'm kind of used to working on my own because uh, as a self-employed, as a creative, most of the time you'll be filming by yourself, you'll be going out, you know, vlogging by yourself. You, When you come home, you edit the photos, edit the videos on your own, you know, with no other people's input, with, you know, no, you're not really talking to anyone else. So I'm kind of quite adjusted to that sort of environment. However, the thing that I miss the most is the opportunity to communicate with clients face to face, um, compu communicating to friends face to face every now and then, uh, is that interactions that I'm missing. And uh, but anyway, let me know how you feel about the isolation. Let me know how you think about the whole thing at the moment. Whether you feel bored at home and things like that. But hopefully, this channel will give you something to do. Uh, right. 
Um, I'm showing these couple of photos in front of the screen in a moment. These are the two photos I took in Hong Kong a uh, few years back now using film cameras. So I don't know how many of you, how many of you are still using film cameras, and because uh, I love them, I still love it. Don't don't say that we got um, digital camera, uh, you know, uh, ambassadors because. Uh, uh, photography is is a medium, you know, it's, it's a skill, it's a craft. Uh, whether it's digital, analog, it doesn't really matter. And I still enjoy using analog. The reason I don't shoot as much as before is because of, first of all, economy. And uh, yeah, it's very expensive to get films these days, as, uh, not just to buy the film, but also to process them. I'm not too bothered about uh, uh, what people always say, you know, oh, it, it costs so much per frame. Yes, it is true, but uh, but to me, you know, I never overshoot anyway, even with digital, and I don't machine gun everything, so uh, I'm quite used to do it frame by frame, you know, I would look for the shot and do it. Although, ha you know, having said that, I do slightly more in digital, you know, because at the back of my mind, I kind of get used to the digital thing now, you know, I would shoot two or three more frames per scene if I needed to, just to make sure, you know, uh, one of them is better than the other kind of thing, you know what I mean? And uh, But I'm quite used to shooting less because less is more, you know. I think uh, to control yourself, to control your your um, um, uh, how would I put it? The um, for digital black and white, do you always shoot color and convert? <laughs> Good question, David. And uh, I'm gonna pop that one out. That's the uh, that's your comment, right, um, uh, David? So I'm gonna answer that um, um, in a minute. So uh, so basically, what I would like to say is that uh, uh, don't shoot too many too quickly. Uh, always look for the moment and train yourself to observe. Uh, so that that's always the, the best um, in my opinion. So David, just to answer your question now, uh, for digital black and white, do I always shoot color and convert? Yes and no. Right, depending on what, what sort of camera I use, uh, if for this particular one, the uh, Olympus Pen F, uh, it has a really lovely mono uh, uh, JPEG um, output. You can customize it to your liking in camera before you shoot. So uh, I always uh, basically configure my my black and white JPEG setting into almost like a like a Fuji, uh, not like not Fuji Kodak Tri-X. That kind of look very high contrast uh, a, a look. Uh, I can put grains on it and things like that, so it makes it look almost like film like. So for that. I actually shoot in JPEG mode, and uh, uh, so I, I don't really do that. Although I would shoot JPEG and RAW regardless. So just in case there are times when I see the, the JPEG process is just a little bit over the top, I will revert back to the uh, RAW photo and I will convert back later. Um, but I will let you know about the software that I use to convert for black and white photos because that is important. Um, I don't simply just do um, uh, on Photoshop, uh, just desaturate everything, or in Lightroom, I would actually use a very cool software, which I am reviewing. Uh, I have been using that for years, and I'm not joking, it's been for years. Uh, it's called Next Software. The, uh, uh, they used to be free from Google, but now, uh, of course, it's been bought by DxO. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that software uh, very, very soon, because I'm actually making that video as we speak at the moment. So uh, uh, you will see that video on our YouTube channel later. So. Yes, I shoot in JPEG and also shoot in RAW and I convert later depending on the situations. Okay, there we go. Any other questions I want to see? Uh, so, I had problem getting black and white film process a couple of years ago. Found a local camera. Yes. Uh, da, 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 da. Right. Okay, that's, that's interesting. And uh, let me just bring this one up. Okay. So, Trevor asked uh, about the uh, film and uh, finding a lab that will process your film nicely is difficult. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I've tried many, many labs. I mean, unless you process yourself, you can really, really take care of it. Uh, but finding a lab that would do good things is truly difficult because uh, uh, you know I've, I've used some high street lab where they completely messed up and some of them really good uh, but also depending on the person actually putting your films into the machines um, then I try out some of the professional labs and don't don't actually think that professionals are better than high street lab because I, I have a couple of cases where the the uh, the professional lab actually messed up my film also so it, it it's hit the miss I guess you know and uh, it's better for my for my experience is to find a uh, a 
good local lab that you always walk past, you know, that's close to you. Go and make a relationship with them and speak to the guy and then uh, see who is processing the photos most of the time and trying to build a relationship with him and then make sure that he process your photo and uh, if you if you like him that is and uh, so that that's much much better and also uh, in film or uh, it depending on what sort of film you're using and uh, most of the films black and white you can push and pull uh, so you yeah it you know, just make sure that you tell them if you want to push them and then uh, or pull or pull the film because um, otherwise they he, uh, he or she would be just chucking the film, set it to the automatic uh, ISO reading from the actual canister itself and uh, it would does it everything automatically. Uh, and also, I don't know if uh, a lot of you guys are uh, very familiar with films and uh, you cannot change the ISOs, not like a digital camera, midway. Yeah. So if your film in your camera is ISO 400 or 800, for instance, uh, like I mentioned, you can push uh, or pull your black and white films, um, but you have to set it before you shoot the, the before you start the roll so like uh, if you have a 400 film roll um, put it in your camera if you want to make sure uh, push it to 800 set it to 800 in, uh, like in straight away regardless and then when you finish the roll you push uh, you put the uh, film to the local developer and tell them that I want to push it to 800 uh, then that way they will basically process for a little bit longer to make sure that there it will be in the chemical for just a little bit longer for the 800 processing um, uh, you can't change it in midway you know like uh, otherwise it will mess up the whole thing you, you just cannot do that and there's no one else can actually do that in, in the world so uh, bear that in mind okay uh, any other question not at the moment I'm gonna continue my thing and uh, I keep hearing a lot of noises here not not that uh, because of the family but also got the the ring doorbell in the front and then they say keep saying there's someone in the front there's someone in the front it kind of get me annoying in a bit, in a bit. Uh, anyway okay that's good so hope I answer your question so uh, any other question you can just continue firing uh, from my comment section that I'm gonna bring up and talk about it but I'm not trying to get this live streamed for too long and uh, because I want to reserve some of the time uh, for the YouTube live because uh, uh, you can always I'm gonna put the link in the description of this live stream after this is finished uh, then you can basically set your alarm clock remember to uh, ask questions on my live stream on YouTube that's the proper channel when I will communicate with you from all the photography stuff uh, but in in here I'm trying to keep it nice and sweet and nice and short uh, not an hour long <laughs> uh, so hopefully that that is better I think uh, other than that uh, we I'm, I'm keeping well uh, I'm still working on a couple of projects and uh, trying to make things uh, as productive as possible I got a about four parcels arrived in the last two days uh, lucky the depots are still coming through and uh, so I will be able to do something although that I won't be able to film outside so that's that's another thing I have to try to find a way to film it indoor uh, to, to make to make this work uh, yeah so, so that that's okay I think kids are so far enjoying their this extended or early summer holiday and uh, you want to come in and say hi oh you can see me oh my daughter just see me you want to say hi you can see yourself <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah you can see it's secret from the weekend okay go ahead <laughs> so Annabelle just said hi so that's my daughter uh, so yeah that's that's the joy of working from home uh, I get a little bit of uh, uh, life coming in and he's not just uh, just uh, working myself when they're in school or something so they are they quite enjoy themselves at the moment like every day they just do a li you know couple of hours of homework and study and then they, they just play for the rest of the day uh, that that's that's the typical life at the moment and having said that you know is for working parents is still a little bit tricky I think and because uh, you can't have that constant time to work you know if you're uh, 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 like a working individual you know exactly what I mean you know you really want to have that solid six seven hours to work and uh, you, once you break it up into chunks your productivity goes down dramatically because uh, uh, you know you, it I don't know, but you might be a superhuman being. Is something different? And I find it a little bit difficult to when I, when I break up from my uh, from my flow and trying to get back into it. It always take me like half an hour or something to get my mind kind of set back in that working condition. And uh, good morning, Peter. How's look? How's it looking in um, in uh, in Finland? Uh, I heard about Finland is uh, getting a little bit of a lockdown as well. So uh, that that's interesting. Uh, like like I think um, from the BBC, we're saying that there were a quarter a quarter of the entire 
global population is under some sort of lockdown at the moment. So that's that's significant. Um, well, mind you, that in India is uh, is actually uh, uh, having a complete lockdown for 21 days. Uh, that's 1.3 mil- billion people. That's 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 huge. Uh, hello, good morning. Uh, I cannot pronounce your name. You know, it's in Japanese. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> can someone? Can someone tell me how to pronounce your name? And then uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would I would like to I would like to learn about you know Japanese uh, I funny enough I actually did study Japanese uh, a long time ago studied for about two years but I really cannot anything uh, remember anything now and uh, which is a shame shame on me you know I, I can't speak Japanese and uh, I would love to because I love uh, Japanese anime you know the Japanese cartoon I love manga and uh, I love manga I was Believe me, I was a very, very good uh, a manga drawer. I'm a painter and uh, as well. So uh, I, when I was a kid, I was really good at it. Uh, I won competitions in Hong Kong and uh, multiple times in for two, three years, just before I basically left uh, to, to Canada. And uh, so I was really good at it. Formulas, okay, right, okay. Let me know if I pronounce it right or wrong. Okay, I'm gonna try to bring it up. Uh, Formula Sami, is it? Formula Sami, Formula Sami, follow. <laughs> I apologize if I if I pronounce it completely incorrect. <laughs> okay, oh dear me. Thank you anyway. Thank you for your support, and uh, it's nice to see people from everywhere uh, uh, around the world tuning into Facebook and YouTube. So I really appreciate it. I know I know Facebook is is new for me this whole thing, and uh, I haven't been publicly speaking in video terms on Facebook so this is kind of like a, uh, a new thing for me and uh, right oh yay I uh, got it correct that's cool uh, Peter Salt oh my god okay yes yeah, southern part of Finland under lock oh only southern part okay so only certain bits in it in in the UK we is, is the entire United Kingdom so that's including uh, England Scotland and, and Northern Ireland um, they all under lockdown the moment that's that's us uh so it's getting straighter and straighter at the moment i i outside now i can't hear much in the, and when i when i get up in the morning i couldn't hear things it's really super quiet everything everywhere uh i i love to take the drone now just to fly, fly around to, to see my surrounding just to see like <laughs> no cars you know that would kind of <laughs> kind of cool actually uh, right okay oh thank you thank you very much for your for your um, for your message uh, formula sami <laughs> full of yeah uh, thank you thank you yes I yeah I do have some boxes and uh, I uh, I also have uh, I also have uh, some friends uh, 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 gonna send me some as well that would be good thank you very much Okay, right. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I was talking about these two photos that uh, uh, that I'm showing. Okay, I'm trying to work out which size it. This this side, this side. Yes, Th- these two photos here. Uh, for those who tuned into my live yesterday, I showed these two photos uh, that I took in Hong Kong. So I will talk about film photography. Um, so yeah. I would appreciate you know like uh, if you start looking into film photography because it uh, to me I think it's always better to learn from film because uh, uh, not that I'm old school but uh, from a genuine practical point of view it's uh, I think it's good to actually have some sort of limitation in terms of what you can do to develop your skills and hone your skills uh, because it's it's always difficult to to uh, to master some uh, some craft without having to start from the basics uh these days a lot of people are you know when they get their their the cameras they would uh jump straight into the most expensive and most feature packed cameras it was just very very difficult uh, uh to to master because they get overwhelmed by everything that's on offer uh, uh from the camera itself you know like they get confused and then they would try to explore um to me, if you're really passionate about photography and really want to learn about something, start from the basic. You know, the film. One thing about good about film is because everything's fixed. The ISO is fixed. The look is fixed. You know, whether it's color or or, or the color tone or the black and white. You know, and the contrast level is 
fix. Although there is something you can do uh, uh, in terms of uh, the look, you know, uh, uh, in post-processing, like dodge and burn after, post -pro uh, after processing, or in lab time, when you're doing development, you can basically extend or decrease the time of development, like push and pull. And, uh, so there are something you can do, but they are very, very limited for what you personally can do. Um, so I, I personally think the film photography is actually great uh, in, that, in that respect. And, and I think it looks cool. You know, I always like the aesthetic of film photography because there's something about it. You know, let's let's just uh, let's, let's just bring this in here. And uh, if I just like, you can just have a look at this photo here. You know, you can see the dynamic range coming from this particular film here. You know, this is uh, this I remember if I remember correctly, this was filmed in uh, is either Ilford XP2. Um, I think it's, I think it's over HP two, and uh, so you can see the dynamic range coming from a film is always always significant, you know, uh, compared to digital cameras. And I know like the high end cameras now, like the medium format, can like have uh, sixteen stop of dynamic range, you know, but. Analog is always a different beast altogether. Uh, you can bring out a lot of high, uh, 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 shadow details, and uh, so it, it's really really cool. So okay, that's cool. So some I got some I got some images. Uh, so I got some comment here. I am periodically revise your YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you very much for a lot of me and uh love the image on the four guys against the city backdrop oh that one okay i so i can bring that in so that's the one right trevor you like that one and uh yeah <laughs> so yeah i do like i do like this one i think it's pretty cool here uh i just need to make sure uh these uh uh you know, this sort of moment is not lost uh, this is exactly what i'm looking for when i do street uh i go out uh, I'm not a humor kind of guy. I don't go out and look for humor. You know, I, I t don't get me wrong. I love it. I mean, I I really really enjoy reading those photos, the the humorous photos that I see from different groups on Facebook or even around the world, uh, like graffiti and people doing certain things. It's just amazing. Um, for me though, I, I'm more of a human guy, so I, I'm looking for human reactions. The eye, the eye, the actual eyes. Uh, uh, story you know that i can tell from the eyes uh, so that's that's basically what i'm looking for most of the time when i do street photography or even the posture the the, the movement and things so this is this is really really cool um yeah so uh, i think i'm gonna end today's stream very soon uh, in about a couple of minutes and i will start again tomorrow and uh, my last stream tomorrow for this week tomorrow is friday uh, so i will kind of wrap up uh what's been going on this week and of course i'll probably tell you about the reaction that i have uh, from today's announcement from the chancellor about self-employed package we shall see uh yeah it's gonna be a interesting i don't know whether i'm gonna be angry or happy tomorrow morning <laughs> when you see me <laughs> uh remember to tune in um i have the moment i still haven't got a fixed time schedule for live stream on facebook i probably do run about this sort of time you know about 11 o'clock 11 ish and then i'll start this live stream so if you want to uh, come back again talk to me uh, remember the tuning around this sort of time and uh, the reason I do it kind of 11 ish is because I want to do it before uh, lunchtime because the kids of course uh, needs to be fed and then uh, otherwise they're gonna start screaming and um, after afternoon I'm gonna start working uh, on my project so I want to keep that as my working time uh, in the morning of course and I got to exercise time to keep me healthy and hopefully lose some pounds as well you know from my belly so that's 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 what I'm I'm hoping for um, other than that, it's good. So, uh, what do you say, Peter? Last comment. Nice social distance between the people in the photo. <laughs> very true, very true, uh, Peter. Yes, actually, yeah, you might be right. They they are probably about two meters apart from each other. <laughs> well spotted, well spotted. And uh, and <laughs> mind you, though, this these photos were taken. Um, I, I think it's about three years ago. Three years ago, with my uh, with my EM with my EM5 Mark II. Uh, yeah, this uh, this is this is cool. <laughs> Social distancing. I'm gonna I'm gonna post this photo after this uh, on my Facebook and uh, make me make a little joke about it. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in and uh, love to see you guys and want to see more of you guys coming in and uh, don't forget, 11 ish. There's no fixed time. Um, uh, just look out for my live stream around that sort of time and I will see you guys tomorrow. Until then, everyone, stay home and uh, keep yourself well, hand wash and everything, and be happy. Do your something. Okay, bye for now. Bye.